I got an interesting um, tweet that I wanted to run by you guys. Eric Parpart, um, minus three listener, says, is there anything in sports you're positive you'll never see again, as in a 10-inning pitched shutout in the World Series like Jack Morris did? Hedge, you go first. Do you have any thoughts on this? I think this is a super fun question. It's funny because immediately – I go to Kevin Cash taking Blake Snell out at 63 pitches. I don't remember what this, where Blake Snell was at dominating in the World Series. That's enough for you. You're too dominant. Nobody can touch the ball, but we, we don't want you to have to go through the order a third time. Like Jack Morris is like, I'll go through the order nine times. I'm not, you know, until they score, I'm not coming out of this game. We never thought anybody would ever catch Brady. And it's already kind of hurt that it feels like, oh, Mahomes might may well do that. But I still think, ironically or otherwise, that that is the most impressive record. I, I like what is, I don't, I'm not saying it's unbreakable, but I think it is the most remarkable personal number out there. I know people love to cite the Gretzky one about like his assists are more than anybody else's total points. I think that is the, for an individual, that's the the most impressive number in what, this seven? millennium. It's a, a guy won seven Super Bowls in the free agency age in the quarterback league. What the hell? Making 10. Making 10. Is there anything is impre- I mean, like the Yank, I got to say, the Yankees winning four and five and almost winning five out of six were it not for the snakes and not one. That's a pretty remarkable thing, too. I think there's one that's as impressive, and this is coming from a Rangers fan, as the Islanders and kind of the modern era winning four in a row. That was my pick. I, I My pick was the Isles four. I think four straight, winning four series, four years in a row, and that it'll all be done again. In the age of free agency and trades, and just, you know, the player injuries because of the tough season. I just think it's something we'll never, ever see again. Defensive player wins an NFL MVP or a guy breaks Kobe's 82 points or gets to 100. Can anybody ever get to 100, Hench? I start with you and back. Kind of feel like you could. Yeah, I I feel like, you know, you look at these Luka, you know, 70-point outings, and it's like they're – there is with the three pointer, there, there is this weird thing where I mean, obviously, there's it, scoring is way up in the NBA. Uh, like you know, going back to the the Denver Nugget days uh, of Doug Moe. This is the window to do it, right? There also seems to be this weird thing where it's not frowned on to just go like I'm gonna I'm gonna try to score as much as possible, like. You know, I'm going to try and score every time down. And unless you send three guys at me. So I feel like Kobe's 81 is going to go. I think the guy to do it is Wembyana because he has that ability to, you know, in some possessions, catch and shoot from, from 24. But the bulk of the game, just feed me. Just feed me down on the block. And it would have to be a meaningless game too, right? It would be like, we're going into this one. Like David Robinson needs... Yeah. 70 to win the scoring title well then we're setting about getting him 70. you would be like let's get wemby 100. hold on it, it would have to be a meaningless game so any spurs game 